Jenny helping out today. We've got our patient, Mr. Gumby. Mr. Gumby, how's law school, bud? It's going. Good. How long have you had that spot on your chest? Uh, decades. Decades. Has it ever oozed or leaked or drained? Or... No, sir. Never? Uh -uh. You never kind of got angry at Okay, you put your left, your right arm down. Oh, yeah. Right, so, because that'll be probably a little more comfortable for you. I see you've been hitting the gym. We called him Mr. Gumby for a reason. He's a, he's a, he, he's very close to Gumby Jean. Let's just say they know each other. <laughs> We're familiar. You're familiar. Yes. She did call and said that we didn't have to use the good anesthesia. We could save that for... That's just mean, right, Jim? Hey, look at that. Oh, cool. There we go. A little betadine. A little alcohol. That doesn't really feel very big. But you are going to get a little scar from this, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't block the cam. There we go. That's cold, huh? Mm -hmm. What size needle did you give him? Well, it's not an 18. It's not an 18. Oh, that's, that's great. It looks like about a... Wow. You give him about a 20. No, it's not quite we like that big. Him. We do like he's him. He's a very nice guy. He's a, he's a gentleman. He really is. He's also a lot bigger than me, so I'm gonna be nice to him. There we go. A little mess is stinging a little bit. Stick stinging a burn. A little bit. A little bit more over here, okay? There we go. And we'll put more in there. So we think this is an epidermoid cyst, Miss Cheney. Yes, sir. And so uh, we're going to give this anesthesia a moment to work, okay? You like that idea? That sounds good. Sounds good to yeah, you? Yeah, we'll go with that. We, we'll, I'll follow your lead. Okay, so be back with you in a moment. It's a lot like preparing for a hurricane from the standpoint of consumption, right? Except that we don't expect that the power is going to go out. We don't expect we're going to lose water or gas. But for us here in Houston, this is a fairly regular occurrence, right? right. I mean, we get ready for this kind of stuff all the time. So it's not, you know, we're not as... Well, we shouldn't be as likely to go in and raid the supermarkets, but you know, we're we're running out of little things. We're not running out of everything. I don't, but I think in some areas of the country that they've not really, they're not really used to experiencing this mm -hmm. kind of thing where you know there could be a shutdown, and so they're they're panic buying everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like especially get that paper. tricycle. But we don't have children, yeah, honey. It's like that, well, but doesn't that, matter. It could happen. You know. <laughs> All right. We're going to use a number 11, new clinic. We don't have any 15 blades in stock at the moment, so we're going to make an incision across the top here. We hope. All right. Hope we'd like the hemostats, please. Now, have you decided on an area of... That's a needle driver, Jenny. Have you decided your area of... <laughs> we're not instilling a lot of confidence in our patient over here, Jenny. I did tell her hemostats earlier. But... Not not tacked not, it down yet. Huh? Uh, not particularly. I'm um, kind of kicking a few ideas around. They say to keep an open mind while we go through it, and uh, right. it'll all kind of hash itself out. So yeah, I am. I do. Uh, I am enjoying tort ball. Yeah. Uh, you like that? Thank you. Yes. Seems to be something that's something that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Interesting and everywhere. Yeah. So. Yeah. So how about now? Am I covering go. Perfect. It? So we're gonna give this a little squeeze and see if we can get some stuff to come on there out here. There you go. Yes. Oh, Jen. Perfect. Okay, we got, we got too action. Excited. Oh yeah. You just give birth. It looks like <laughs> looks like a spider egg sac. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is absolutely an epidermoid cyst, but it's a beautiful epidermoid cyst. Now, now your hands perfect, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Because, you know, when you said that this had never drained, I was a little bit. Uh, skeptical, okay? Mm -hmm. But I completely believe you because this sack, you're not going to believe what this looks like. It has come out in entirety. The whole Is that sack. odd? Uh, I wouldn't say odd. I would say it's uh, gratifying because it's nice to be sure to get the entire sack. And see, we right. do have the whole sack there. Mm -hmm. I want to be sure that we don't leave any sack material behind. So we're going to tease all that out. Yeah, Ben said, please make sure everything's out. Yes. Mr. Cummy. Absolutely. So I'm just tugging at it gently because I want that to come on out without cutting at all possible. Your hands are in perfect position. Everything's good? Everything's okay. great. 
We're, you're going to have to watch the video for this. Okay. You but I will show to. it to you in a moment. Right there. How do you like that? You might miss it. So, can you see it pretty well, Jenny? Yes, sir. We're actually going to we're going to open it up. Wait, what a be any? There. Can you see? Yeah. See that right there? Okay. Okay, good, good, perfect. Okay. Okay. okay, so it's definitely an epidermoid cyst. You can see there's all the proteinaceous oh, yeah. mucin and oily deposits over there. Okay, so we're done with that. That needle driver. Needle driver. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Can we take this away? Yeah, she's taking my knife away. So we spent more time reassuring people. It's really... I mean, it's been kind of emotionally exhausting today because we've had so many people call that are just scared, you know, mm -hmm. they're just frightened. And, um, you know, we're happy to spend time and talk with our patients. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com, available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.